Hi friends, it's Deanna here and I am here today to do a bow tie sewing tutorial. If you're anything like me, um, you always put bow ties on your son, on special events. He loves it actually. Um, so I've always done bow ties on him. And the thing is, bow ties sometimes are hard to come by, little kid bow ties, or they're expensive, or they don't have the fabric you want. It doesn't look like you what you had envisioned. So I have started making my own bow ties for my son because I just love it. And so today I thought I'd show you how to make simple bow ties and um, that's it. That's what I'm doing. So I am using this fabric right here. It's um, It's got numbers on it just because my son is lo in love with numbers. So I thought this would be really neat. And it's black and white, so it'll go with anything basically. And so I've got some, this is cotton woven. It's just the cheap um, stuff that you get at like your local store or whatever. And I don't really even need that much. Maybe a quarter of a yard will be enough. Um, so I, I, well, I like the bow ties that have like a double layer. It's got one in the front and one in the back. So I do two bows. If you only want just the front bow, um, you can just do one and that's it. And that will work just fine. But I like it to be a little bit poofier. So that's why I do two. Um, so that's really up to you. I will put the measurements of all these on the description so you can get those. But basically I do a big bow at um, eight and a half by six and a half inches. And then I do a smaller bow on top and I only make it a half an inch shorter. So it's eight by six and a half. So it's just a tiny bit shorter. So it puffs out. And then I have the middle piece. This is my middle piece. It's two inches by three. And then my neck piece that goes around the neck. It is um, two inches by 18. So um, yes, and this is for my son. He is um, eight years old. Um, but it probably can range um, depending on the only thing different would be the neckband size or will you attach the velcro. Now you can do a, a, a line of velcro so it can move like from younger age as he, they get older you can still use it. I'm just I have these velcro uh, little snippet things so I'm just gonna be using those. So if you're using something small like this you want to make sure you measure and you know how wide his neck is so you can put it on there. I, actually, you can put a couple of these in a row and then you can just Velcro them together. But um, it's up to you however you want to do the Velcro. But I'll show you how to do all that. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously cut out your fabric. And then you will need um, uh, an iron because we're going to be doing a lot of steaming. A lot of how these things look depend on how you know you need to steam everything constantly and then also I have um, if you want a stiffer look on your bow tie if you want it to stick up and stand up you can use some interfacing in here so if you want to do that um, I would cut out um, the interfacing to be half the size of your bow tie and then I would uh, put it on there and when I sew it together I would sew the interfacing on there so I'm not using interfacing because I think it's just enough not to have to put it on but if you're doing a flimsy fabric you might want the interfacing on there um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna start with um, all our pieces we're gonna do the, the first step so that we can get it I like to get them all prepped at the same time and then figure it all out it's really easy so long ways I'm gonna go ahead and fold it right sides together and I am going to steam it and um, I'm gonna do that to all of them so here's my bow bottom here's my other bow okay and then so those are two together and I am I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna sew in a minute but that's how they need to be and it's the same for this long ways this is my middle piece holding it in half right, right sides together and steamed and then my bow, my uh, neckband piece. Again, right sides together, folding it, and steaming. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna sew all of them together. So at the raw edge, I'm gonna do a, uh, a quarter of a seam allowance from here, from the edge, a quarter inch in. I'm going to sew a long, uh, just a straight stitch all the way down on all of them. All the raw edges, straight stitch, straight stitch, 
straight stitch all the way down. So like I said, I am just sewing that straight stitch at one quarter of an inch seam allowance. Here we go. I'm gonna show you that. I just did a straight stitch. Stretch it is straight. I'm mean, not straight, straight, straight stitch. Right there. All right, now that everything has been straight stitched, I'm going to turn it all, flip it out, and you can go ahead and steam those seams open. I sometimes I like to do that so they'll lay nice and flat in the back. And you can do that for all of them and then turn it over. Here I am. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. And this is what my bow tie is gonna be. Okay. So here it is, nice and all in one row. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that to everything. We're turning everything right side out. Clip some of these threads. And I actually have a tool to uh, flip these things right side out. But I don't know if I can get to it because as you can see, my sewing work is being redone. My sewing room is being redone. I'm not, it's not being redone. I am painting it and doing a couple of other things. So um, I haven't, I'm not able to get to everything right now. It's kind of sad. Anyway, so as you, and that's why my outlet cover is open and yeah, it's a mess in here. So yeah, I've got this handy tool. It's got like the little sharp edge right there, the little edge. And so you just, it helps you flip things over, which is so nice. So I'm flipping everything over and steaming. If you don't have one of those tools, then, I mean, you can still get it done. It's going to be hard, um, but you don't need it. All right. So grab it with my little tool. Actually, you can do a safety pin. If you have a safety pin, you can use a safety pin. Put it in the corner and then flip it upside down and turn it. But this, look at this tool actually pretty nice except for when it comes undone because I'm over here bragging about it okay this is what happens when you brag about something then um, never have any issues with it but then you brag about it and then it's like I'm not gonna work for you okay so here it is turn it right side out and steam it so it's flat now if you want and you know I usually do but I um, on this one I went thinner if you want you can do your band a little bit thicker like at, um, this one is a two inch you can do um, three inches so it's a little bit wider it's up to you how big your kit is and then my last one it's my other bow. Sorry, my scissors are trying to attack me and they're slippery. Oh yes, I just threw my thread on the ground. Sometimes I do that. Bad habit that I need to break. Okay, so now everything is turned right side out and um, it is all steamed. Okay, so we're gonna start with the bow and you're gonna do the same thing for both bows. Um, and so what we're gonna do is first, I like to turn in my little seams right here on the side, the edges, the raw edges. Let's turn those in and steam because they have like <clears throat> little hairs that poke out. You can trim those, but you don't want them coming out when they're wearing the bow tie. So that's why I steam them in. So that way when I fold it together, they won't um, be poking out. So we're gonna fold it in half, those two raw edges together or folded edges now. So I can find my my half and then I'm gonna bring them in to that half right there bring them to the half so they're both meeting at the half point right here okay and I'm going to pin them and I'm gonna do the same to my other one so I'm just doing this one right now but I'm gonna do the same to my other one 
And now what I'm gonna do is, if you can see, they're meeting together right there. I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch from the top, chink, 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 all the way down to meet those two together, okay? Because then when I put them together, this is gonna be my bow tie, look, ah! But I'm gonna go ahead and meet those two together and do a zigzag stitch, so they're both together. Now, for my, and I'm gonna do the same thing for my little guy right here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do the zigzag stitch and then we'll come back for the next one. All right, guys, so now I zigzagged my bow tie together. If you can see right there, my zigzag stitch, you can kind of see it. And so both of my sides are having stuck and same for the other one. So now, if you're doing, um, I forgot to tell you, there are two measurements for the middle piece. If you're doing the, just the one bow, it's the two by three inches and I'll attach all that stuff underneath in the description. Um, so like here's my one bow, I'm just doing one. So I'm gonna show you how you do it if you just do one. So here's my bow and we're just gonna accordion fold it back and forth, back and forth. Here we are. Okay, there it is. So you would grab, uh, let me do it with white so you can see it. You would grab, uh, you could use some thread, any kind of thread really, cause it's gonna be hidden so you can't see it. And I would tie it around the bow like so and then tie it just so you can keep it still. I mean, it doesn't, it's just so that when you're putting it together, it doesn't come open and you're like, ah, you know, so you just kind of tie it up like that. And then you use your smaller piece and we, I fold it in a quarter inch and a quarter inch at both ends. And then you put your neck band that you already sewed right side of the neck band to the bow, to the back of the bow and then you grab your little piece and wrong side of the, of, the, of the middle piece to the right side of the bow, to the front of the bow, and then you would fold it over. And I'm gonna show you when I show, cause I'm doing the two bows, but that's how it would look. But I'm gonna show you how you would sew that band in the back together. It's gonna be the same way that I do my um, other one, but it's just gonna be a little bit, um, uh, not different. It's just gonna be, I'm just gonna show you in a minute once I'm done. But here, this is what it would look like with just one bow. Okay? So, but um, let me show you how I do both bows. And maybe I should have shown you with a lighter fabric so you could see everything I'm doing, but I will use white thread so you can see it better. Okay, so I've got my back bow and my top bow, and how you know that is one is just slightly, slightly shorter than the other. You can kind of see it right here, just slightly. And I'm gonna do the same thing, accordion fold. But now I've got two of them. So they look thicker. And I don't know that you can really see it very well on your end, because camera might not catch those details, but when you're making it yourself, you can try, experiment. See if you want one bow or two. I like the way the two bows look better than the one, but you might not, you might just want the one. It's really up to you. And that is the great thing about sewing uh, your own things is that you can pick whatever fabric you want um, and you can uh, do it however big you want to do it if you want this to be a little bit wider the bow tie to be a little bit wider all you do is you add a little bit of width um, if you want them to be uh, thicker you do the two bows if you want it to be thinner you do one bow you know it really is up to you so here's my two bows together Okay, by the thread. So now I'm grabbing that middle piece and I made that middle piece bigger obviously because it's a bigger bow. And I'm trimming those edges and I am folding a quarter of an inch in. Now, if you want to go the extra step above and beyond, you can top stitch all the way around on this middle piece. So you can do a little top stitch all the way around like a fourth of an inch all the way around so it, so you can see it. You can do that, it's up to you. I'm not going to because I'm lazy. So that's what I am. So I'm putting my, okay, so let's do this. My middle piece face down on my mat, okay? I'm putting my bow face down on top of it. I'm grabbing my, my strap face down on top of that bow, okay? So the only thing that's facing up is that middle piece. Everything else is facing down on top of it. So then we bring that middle piece over, okay? And 
grab it together like so. And now I've got, and I already put black thread on here, so I'm sorry, I said I was gonna do it on white, but I'm gonna do it on black, but I'm gonna show you, hopefully you can see it. Where those two meet, where the, um, let's see if you can see it better, where the, um, you go around with your back, with your middle piece, you're gonna stitch that on. And the reason why we're doing hand stitching right here is because sewing it would be really, really hard. And hand stitching is just a little bit easier and it's actually pretty quick. I'm just hand stitching it. I'm doing it, ow, I just poked myself. I'm doing it the same color. I'm doing it black because that way it's the same color and you can't tell even if I do a bad job when I'm stitching. Um, I'm just doing, going back and forth. You won't be able to see it. So if you're not the best hand stitcher in the world, you can get away with it. And seriously, all of the steps you could do without the sewing machine if you wanted to do it with the hand stitching, that will work just fine. I just find that that sewing machine is a little bit faster for me. So that's why I do it with my sewing machine. All right, I don't know if you can see my stitches right there. It's stuck together and my bow tie is basically done. Look at how cute that looks. I know you can't really see the bottom bow, but it's there. And there it is. <laughs> how cute. Okay, now the last step is the Velcro. So right here on my strap, again, on the strap, if you want to give, if you wanted to give it a more finished look, you could um, top stitch around that band as well if you wanted to. You don't have to, but if you wanted to, you could. So I'm gonna fold this down quarter of an inch where the fluffies are. And I'm actually, because it's so fluffy, I might do it again so that way those don't come out, okay? Everything else is tucked in, on, in there, but this is not gonna be tucked in. So either you wanna fold it again so that the, when the woven fabric doesn't come apart, or when you put your Velcro on, just sew it on there so you can stitch it down. But I did fold it together down one quarter of an inch and then down another quarter of an inch to tuck those hairs in, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my Velcro. Like I said, I'm only doing one. So I'm gonna grab my Velcro to the wrong side, obviously, of my um, bow tie and then to my other wrong side. And there's my Velcro. Actually, no, what am I talking about? To the wrong side, you wanna do one to the wrong side and one to the right side. I went the wrong way. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. And then you will be able to Velcro it together, okay? And there it is. Now this is self-stick Velcro, but you can get, um, I'm still gonna go back with my sewing machine and sew it on because as you can tell, I, I just pulled it off. It's just self-stick so that you can stick it on there and you know where to put it. But um, if you have, you want longer Velcro so that it can go roll with them or whatever, you can do that. But our bow tie is done and done. How cute is that? Cute little bow tie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. I will put the measurements on the description box so you can um, use that. And let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. And um, if you wanna see more of my sewing tutorials, I don't have a whole lot on this page, but I have more on the Ellie and Mac uh, website page. Ellie and Mac is a sewing company I work for, and they actually, it's a, a pattern company, so they have PDF patterns of really, really cool things. But anyway, I am hoping to do a couple more tutorials, a free tutorial, so if you have any questions, if you have anything that you'd like me to show you, uh, please comment below. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.